Hey everybody! Welcome back. Let me adjust my microphone to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. It's like... I hesitate to say this, people are gonna take it the wrong way. It's so nice and easy to play Isaac when it's going extremely well, and the last runs have been very good. ME9G H6Z6. Like, three Gungeon runs? On the best of runs, that's gonna be roughly three hours of your time. In fact, we're still in the position where the worse a Gungeon run is, the shorter it is, which was the case in Isaac for a while until we got to the point where we were, you know, winning fairly consistently. And now, you know, the faster a run is, the much more likely it is to be a victory as opposed to a defeat. It's weird how that turnaround happened. Um, but don't let me get too cocky. I mean, our starting stats are pretty good here. We got Common Cold, obviously, uh, and Blank Card is awesome, but we also have uh, Curse of the Unknown, which... Just thought I'd check. Curse of the Unknown creates an issue. We can't walk on the spikes because it could kill us. Um, I guess we'd rather have Swallowed Penny than the Louse. And we also have Forget Me Now in our item room. This is like a, a new archetype of, of Isaac run that we've been seeing a whole hell of a lot of lately. Um, unfortunately, fortunately, I don't know. You give up your active item, uh, but you have the chance to get another floor's worth of, uh, of passives, or actives for that matter. Um, is it worth going through with? This is a difficult sentence to architect, but it may be. In general, I tend to err on the side of zaniness, and I think it's zanier to go through with it than anything else, but... I don't know, Blank Card High Priestess has me uh, second-guessing myself, because that's a pretty solid setup here. Once we find the boss, they are gonna, well, effectively just eat a bunch of shit, and that's good for us. Let's, um... Well, I mean, kill this boss in like two seconds. Hopefully we'll grab HP, and then I'll feel a whole hell of a lot better about my current standing. Got the pentagram. I mean, it's a beautiful item. Oh, oh, it's a beautiful item. Oh, oh. You know, remember, it's a beautiful life. Oh, oh, oh. Classic song. Uh, I, I can't deny where I come from. And where I come from is the school of absurdity. So let's grab this forget me now. I'm not going to use it on this floor, I'm going to use it on the next floor to try to get double deals with the devil, and also because I want to fucking see how our god dang HP looks. So hopefully we don't have another Curse of the Unknown, that would be really annoying. Ooh, two Spirit Hearts. Relatively bad, honestly. Um, I'm really glad I didn't walk on a spike. And we do have bombs now, or rather a bomb now, so I can at least go to my... Uh, Tinted Rocks and blow them up. We had a couple of Tinted Rocks on the last floor. Unfortunately, I was unable to really do anything with them. We almost got hit early here, which is quite dangerous. There's a free penny for us. This is, again, it's, I have to remind myself, this is our second floor. I only have to remind ourselves of that because of the fact that we got Forget Me Now, but didn't use it on our first floor. So it's actually fairly conceivable that we will not be able to take a deal with the Devil on this floor. It mostly comes down to what our HP looks like after we kill the boss. Ideally, get some Spirit Hearts and then get HP from the boss. And that kind of puts us in a position where I could take a deal with the devil and still feel fairly survivable. I don't know. I mean, Swallowed Penny is immediately less useful than Karma. But it might be more useful in the long run. Uh, yeah, okay, let's, let's shoot the moon here. Two bombs to open this chest. And then we got Cracked Dice. I still think you got to shoot the moon on it. Try to, try to make something happen with a little bit of risk taking, but uh, obviously that wasn't the result that I was hoping for, but it's it's far from catastrophic. It didn't hurt us. It just cost us some consumables. Um, and of course on this floor, no tinted rocks. Last floor, all the tinted rocks, no bombs. This floor, all the bombs, no tinted rocks. That's okay. Remember, we have another second floor coming up. Oh, there is one tinted rock. Save me. One spirit heart is okay. At least it's survival. I don't know if we use uh, High Priestess here. My reasoning is not that this is not an easy boss, because for this stage of the game, it's a fairly difficult boss, but it's more, I think our chances of whiffing on it are higher because it's a boss that disappears all the damn time. So just kill him the old-fashioned way. HP. Well, it is HP in a way. Mr. Dolly at least gave us two uh, Demon Hearts. We will take Mob the Void. Am I a little frightened about our, about our situation at present? I think that's fair to say. And now, what are you doing? What are you doing? Well, what we're gonna do is, uh... Well, first off, I'm gonna say thank you, because Mob the Void is, is pretty good and allows us to get some Demon Hearts, possibly. And that's really good offensively and defensively. But I'm gonna come in here, see what we got, and then use the Forget Me Now. 
Just figured it was worth half of a demon heart, even with our very, like, limited amount of HP, just to check for... Just to check for something a little better. So we're in, we're in full-on glass cannon mode here. But it's not catastrophic, because we have the ability to get more HP as a result of this mob, the Void Pickup, and it's so early. Like, it really is super early on this run, so, you know, as long as we don't shit the bed right now, we have a lot of time left to possibly make something happen here. I wish that wasn't a tears down, but I did take the pill. I took the unknown pill. He subjected myself to a risk I didn't have to. Um, we're not guaranteed to deal with the devil on this floor to the best of my Isaac memory. Let's see what we got here. His little horn again. Does not bother me. Crapped on him even harder this time than we did last time. We actually got HP, which is, is blowing my mind. Are you telling me there's a chance we might actually have a little bit of long-term survival on this run? It is nice that despite using, uh, forget me now. Wish I hadn't kicked that bomb away. Uh, we're still, like, way ahead of the curve when it comes to boss rush and... Now we've got good consumables, we can get into our shop for free, which I, well, for a bomb, which I don't really care to, because we only have three cents right now, but that could change. Let's see if there's anything in here. Bunch of spiders. I mean, it's not nothing. It's, it's a little worse than nothing. Swallow Penny gives us a little money, and uh, we need, oh, I was going to say we need a key, but we got keys. Okay, now give me a, uh, a tinted rock. And honestly, we're as close to, like, being set for a win as we could possibly be while still shitting our pants every time an enemy almost hits us. Because I, I really actually like the way to describe it that we used right there. We're basically shitting our pants whenever an enemy almost hits us, but we're also doing a ton of damage. Is technology good here? Usually technology tends to be a little frowned upon, um, but I'm going to stick with it. I'm, it's weird. It synergizes nicely. Um, I'm for it. Plus, hey, it kind of is... Not really a charge shot, but we benefit from holding the button down. I'm not going to go to the shop. I don't really care about buying a Spirit Heart. I want to stay uh, stay sharp here. Curse of the Labyrinth is uh, fine by me. Doesn't really uh, do us any favors. You know, sometimes you get Curse of the Labyrinth, you save yourself a key or something like that. Um, that's not the case for us. Let us... Head down. Do you go to the curse room here? Things could so easily go wrong if we do this, which is exactly why we're gonna... Oh, okay, so it paid for itself and gave us some spiders. That's all we could really ask for out of a curse room, honestly. I'm glad we got two keys here. We have enough money to go to our shop as well if we if we really feel like we need to buy a, uh, a spirit heart. Hopefully there's one for sale if we need it, but hopefully we just don't need it. That's fine by me as well. This is a weird situation. There's three stone chests over here. Three bombs is not... Uh, and you know what? With that bomb out there uh, the, in the rock, there may actually be a case for us to actually get all three of these with two bombs. Okay, well, especially now that we've gotten Fates, which is amazing. Uh, that's a really easy ability to fly. And then we got our bombs back regardless. So yeah, that was really good. That room may have just uh, single-handedly... Well, I was going to say win us the run, but it doesn't really make sense because we were already doing real well, but... It certainly makes me more confident. Okay, now we have Tech X, so we got all sorts of weird charge shot bullshit here. Oh, and Continuum, all right. So our shots are gonna, like, fly through the map. That's a new one. Well, it's certainly a cool synergy. This is one of those runs where, like, when you fire a tier, you have no fucking idea what's happening. Like, there's, like, six different ways you can deal damage here. I don't even know what caused that. <laughs> That was strange. Um, there's like two different shots coming at it from two different angles. I don't really want uh, the tick, because you can't go back for it. Or you can't go back from it, I should say. So stay away from that for now. Keep it up here. Uh, this I'd, I would almost call this unlosable. I don't want to set the stage like too highly, but especially considering that we just gained the ability to fly and then like two pretty strong items in this situation, uh, this is as close to, like, a guaranteed win as we can get, baby. I mean, look, we got the Tech X, and then we have the upside down, like, Mark of the Damned in the middle of our freaking visor. That's how powerful it is. It's like, how do we show that this guy's down with the future, but also he's a badass bitch that doesn't care about anything? And the answer is exactly what we have going on right here. Uh, we might as well hit up everything on this floor. There's no reason for us to, like, be out of this floor in nine minutes. 
that's four and a half minutes ahead of where we need to be to get to boss rush. And we're going to continue to go faster in the future. Please give me a spacebar item. And by spacebar item, of course, I meant a bomb that explodes when I touch it. This is what I mean when I say that, like, Isaac's been easy today. And I don't mean easy as in, like, whoa, my workday was easy. But really what I mean is, like, it's a pleasure. And also my job is pretty easy. But it's been a pleasure to record Isaac today with, with runs like this. With friends like this who needs friends because friends like this provide all the benefit that I could possibly expect other friends to have to do. With friends like this, who needs other friends? It's not really how that expression goes most of the time, but... Continue him doing work there. Deal with the devil here, maybe? Let's keep in mind, we're at nine and a half minutes. Almost about to be done with this floor, if we want to be. And we also uh, did the last floor. Or, sorry, when I said we did the last floor, which is obvious. I mean, we did the last floor twice. No deal with the devil, so we will go back and use our Joker card. Uh, and you know what? Don't mind a Krampus fight. If you're going to get it, you're going to get it. Lump of Coal may or may not do anything for us. I think it definitely does. Yeah, it definitely does. I mean, it's not necessarily good. It just makes our shot do, like, more damage. Or it just makes our shot larger. I'm not sure if it makes it do more damage. What am I doing here? I'm trying to find the freaking shop. Ooh, don't get the tick. Not that the tick matters, but... We'll see. I mean, I guess... You know what? Fuck it. Let's donate. I might buy the card, but I figure let's get some good karma going on this round. We actually took, like... Maybe 150 to 200 cents out of our donation machine over the course of the last 40 episodes or so. And it sounds like that's a lot, but it's really not. Um, wow, that was extremely good luck. That's five cents per run. But uh, the fact that we can just, you know, pay it back here. And we paid it back relatively quickly thanks to the, you know, two runs ago when we had that, like, 99 cents, donate 50, two of diamonds, donate, like, another 30. That super helped out. But this is... Um, it's nice just to make sure that we have an environment that's, you know, safe for us to continue to milk our donation machine in the future. I think it's this way. But even if we get lost, yeah, we didn't. But even if we got lost for two minutes, uh, it doesn't matter. We can definitely do boss rush. And honestly, we probably should fight boss rush. And we probably should fight hush on this run if it stays strong and our HP is at least, like, you know, half decent. Which it obviously is right now. Uh, not to mention, as good as this run is... We still don't have a spacebar item, so there's room to grow. And we didn't get a deal with the devil on our last uh, floor, which was an XL floor. So we should have a pretty damn good chance to get it on this floor. And um, who knows what we could end up getting in there. I'm not suggesting like a one floor guppy transition transformation is like in the cards for us. But it could be. The Empress is lovely. Great for a boss rush if we, uh, if we end up not being able to teleport. As strong as we are... I'd have to get, like, homing tears to not want to teleport out of boss rush. Like, it's it's in it's human nature. Like Michael Jackson said, you know, why, why, tell them that it's human nature. I don't remember the rest of the song. To be honest with you, you know, I got, like, off the wall. But I only listened to, to Billy Jean and, like, want to be starting something. Because I was like, I have no respect for the concept of an album. It's all about the single. I was part of the iTunes age, you know, I... I've grown out of that. I appreciate that, you know, not every song on an album can be bangers. Some of them have to be breathers. You know, not every song on, on Pet Sounds is a Wouldn't It Be Nice. Some of them are like a Sloop John B or something like that. Or um, not every song can be a God Only Knows. Some of them have to be like, I guess I just wasn't made for these times, you know? I didn't even know that we killed that last one. Okay, come on. I did not, I went completely blind to that enemy, which is my own fault. Grab a key. It's weird. This is a large floor, but it's not an XL floor. It's just large. Oh my god. Okay, anti-grav is just a tears upgrade, which is actually fantastic. At first I was like, it's one of those synergies where we have so many like interlocking synergies. You pick up an item and you go, I don't know whether I just fucked myself or like won the run automatically. I have no idea. Uh, I'm thrilled. I'm happy about the situation, don't get me wrong. It seems like just getting a tears upgrade is pretty much the ideal outcome there. We can spam shots with a little bit more, uh, a little bit more reliability. 
I hate this boss. I am an idiot, but I also hate this boss. We have infinite range, and I decided to get up close and personal. Why? To make Mob the Void work better. Not a smart decision. Let's not do that in the future. We get an evil upgrade and some bombs. Um, and then a deal with the devil that, honestly, is fairly bad. We'll take our key, and honestly, I don't know how to feel about that floor. I think I did pretty poorly. We're going to head down to the next floor regardless. And this is where I take a deep breath, and I say to myself, Self, you played badly on that last floor. People of YouTube are going to judge you. There's nothing you can do about that, and to be honest with you, you deserve it a little bit. You played poorly. But even Tom Brady throws a shitty pass now and then. We need to come back and win the Super Bowl. You know, start playing well here. Start playing with stronger fundamentals. Rise to the occasion. It's not to stumble is not a sin. To catch yourself stumbling and choose to fall. Now that's slovenly. So let's take this time, observe ourselves making mistakes, come back and, you know, get get situated, repositioned. For a while there, we had the momentum of like a, a speech from like any given Sunday or something like that. But uh, I, I kind of let it go in the last possible moment. Anytime you need a you need a motivational speech, I'm your guy. 5,000 bucks a pop. No big deal. Isn't it worth it? How much does Tom Brady make in his season? He's not going to pay me five grand to give a motivational speech? I don't believe that. In fact, Tom Brady, you're kind of a cheapskate. Okay, I have no idea if Tom Brady's a cheapskate. What's the problem with being a cheapskate as well, you know? It's, maybe it's a good thing. You know, he's saving his money. His, his football career could preserve uh, a great way of life for multiple generations of his theoretical family. Basically, at this point, we're just, like, buying, wasting time. We don't have anywhere to be on this run, and we're looking for uh, teleportation cards. We've still got to go to our item room, or at least, you know, it would be smart for us to go to our item room. So take it even a step further... It would be stupid if we didn't go to our item room. So we're definitely going to not be stupid. I don't want to willfully be an idiot. If I accidentally or through some goofiness appear an idiot, that's okay. Oh my god, it only gave us this Mr. Boom for all of our troubles here. It's, I mean, it could be worse, I guess. It's not like we were doing anything with our uh, spacebar item slot to begin with, but a little bit of a bummer. I swear to God, it's like 90% skulls now. There was a time where it was not 90% skulls. I, I seem to remember it. There were fields of green, red roses too. Now there are not. Okay, the mom kill should be easy. I'm not going to use mr boom here because it might work better for boss rush if we decide to go that route and we're about to find out if we're gonna go that route book of sin's not good enough magic fingers is not good enough maggie's bow is not good enough number two is okay but not good enough so we're just gonna leave and if we have the hp i think it would be fun to fight hush especially because we got the steam sale we could actually get some value out of steam sale i gotta admit in a, in a recent isaac episode i think it was isaac could have been gungeon though i did an impression of uh you know kelsey Grammer, dr fraser crane niles I asked Twitch chat how they felt about it. They said it was like a 3 out of 10. I accept that. I think you're being honest and not being mean. I cried it out, and now I'm back. Maybe I can't do Kelsey Grammer as Dr. Fraser Crane. I'll accept that as much as it pains me to do so. I've got to find a new sitcom king to do an impression of, though. So if it can't be Kelsey Grammer, I'm going to give you some options. Um, one of them would be... Okay, so here's, here's Ray Romano. Debra, I mean, you want to hear that again for America's Got Talent? Debra, something like that. I can already tell you right now, that's probably not going to be the one. We could be Jerry. George! It's, <laughs> it's not very good. That's not very good either. We could be Joey Tribbiani from um, Friends. Hey! You want to hear that again? Hey! I'm Dr. Drake Ramore here. That's not very good. Maybe I've just got to accept this isn't my calling. Could be Hal from Malcolm in the Middle. Malcolm. 
Almost sounds like it belongs in Jurassic. Okay, okay I'll tell you what. Murray from Flight of the Concords. Band meeting? Jemaine? Brit? That's, we're getting there. Don't tell the pills me back to the freaking start here. What do you think this is? Coldplay's magnum opus, The Scientist? <sighs> all the, the, walk it all the way back here. Okay. I can I can be okay with just being able to do a half decent restarby as Murray Hewitt impression from Flight of the Concords. You know, there's worse lots in life. I suppose. It's a very satisfying room. It's a little bit like bubble. It's a little bit like bubble wrap, isn't it, Brit? You know bubble wrap. I'm not gonna continue down this road. I'm sorry. Um. I wish that we had not been hit there, though. Because, I mean, I do still want to fight the Hush, but... I'm starting to lose my confidence here. I really wanted to say that in my fake New Zealand accent. Are you... Well, okay, you know, this is good. We got a damage upgrade, we got a speed upgrade, we got two Demon Hearts. I'm alright with that. And I really can't complain, considering we're at 19 minutes here, and we're uh, in the Utero 2. If we were at 19 minutes on the Depths 2, that would be fairly normal. So... We're definitely uh, ahead of schedule here, to put it mildly. Also, I actually got Black Feather to work. We have an evil upgrade in the form of the matchbook. And then we got um, Black Feather, so we're getting a little bit of a damage boost for that. So, most of the time that does not take place. You take it and you talk about it and then it never comes to fruition. This situation, pardon me, is somewhat different. I hate the burp, man. You can't, you can't silence the burp. You can hold in a fart, but when a burp's coming... There's nothing you can do. You can definitely augment it, you know. You, you can choose to make the burp louder, but you can't choose to just ignore it. Now, this this is my Jerry Seinfeld impression. Just put some, like, do ba do ba do bo in the background. The fart. The fart you can hold. You can dampen. Some of us can even mute the fart. But the belch, the belch is irreplaceable. It's unquenchable. You can choose to make it louder, but you can't choose to make it. Okay, but it, it kind of fell apart at the end, but there was a moment in that bit where I felt the kindred spirit of Jerry Seinfeld coursing through me. Um, let us fight Mom's heart. It's got to be like the next room, or like the room after the next room. Okay, it's got to be the room after the room after the next room. All right, maybe like a couple rooms after the room, after the room, after the room, after the next room. There we go. I'm just gonna blow this guy up. I would like the greater deal with the devil chance, but mostly I just can't be bothered to pick up more HP at the moment, which is a, admittedly a pretty luxurious situation. Oh, I'm so sick of caviar. Can you get me some Parmesan Reggiano? I feel like slumming it tonight. No deal with the devil. Deal or no deal with the devil. I'm still gonna do the hush fight. We have the Empress. We have half price items. We got enough keys. So we'll come in here. Definitely blue candles better. Definitely the compass gives us some value. Luck up is great, honestly. Um, we could buy the key. We might as well buy the key unless we get money equals power somehow. Uh, okay, the chests are getting quite tiny. If this one has another chest, I'm going to shit my pants laughing. It's going to be so small. Okay, well, it didn't work, but still. Uh, we should go Taurus. We have the speed necessary to get some invincibility. Not going to be too useful on this fight, but in the future, uh, absolutely. And I do think that Dead Eye is going to be awesome for us, theoretically at least. Grab that. Too bad we didn't have recycle. Now we do have to pay attention here, because um, we could die on this fight. Certainly hope we don't. And we have the damage that you know you'd think would be able to protect us, but you never know. Let's go throw some bombs in here. By the way, I love Bomber Boy. Like that item is fantastic. I just thought the Dead Eye with the damage bonus, is a little bit nicer, a little bit less likely to result in my own death as well, and that's like a pretty pivotal part of things for me. Um, I think we're going to try to use Blue Candle almost as like a, a shielded tier. Honestly, I'm not using Maw of the Void too much because I think we gain more from spamming our own shots, but um, whenever we think a shot is coming in for us, that's when we should pop Blue Candle. Flies included, sure, poison them all. They're all going to die then. And, um, just hide behind the fire, basically. I mean, as Garth Brooks said, life is not 
tried to just merely survive if we're standing behind the fire. And honestly, all we're trying to do right now is merely survive. I think he looked down on it in the song, but I've chosen to interpret it in a different way, which I hope is okay with Mr. Brooks. Who is not Canadian, but I would accept him as an honorary Canadian if he decided that he wanted to. Might be bad for his image. He's, he's a patriotic guy, I think, but... Uh, you know, if he ever needs, like, a second country, sh come on up, man. We've already got Shania up here. We've got Paul Brant. Did I say Shania? There's some country music royalty up here. We have... We have Alberta. Is Canada's Texas. You'd love it up there. The sales tax is only 5%. Almost... Oh, I was gonna say I almost got hit twice during that, but I actually did get hit twice during that, so... Oh, I stood there for a direct hit, like it's Art Brut's second single that didn't really capitalize on the fame they achieved through independent media blogs in the early 2000s. Okay. Head up to the cathedral. We didn't have anything else to buy or do there, so that's fine. We got the compass. We're not going to become Guppy. Amnesia, that's a great pill. One of my favorites, honestly. If I had to pick, like, the best pills in the game, it would probably be, like, Tears Up at the top, and then maybe, like, Amnesia right after that. The dark pharmaceutical. By Frictional Games. Alright, um, we should get that key. That's just hubris to avoid your fourth key. Nonsensical. Um, I am killing myself with Bob's brain. So, I think step one to not doing that is pretty obvious. And that's shoot Bob's brain immediately when we enter the room. The lovers actually might be important for this. I almost got hit there. Pretty obviously. Okay, money's no good, but that's okay. Get Bob's brain out. Okay, now we can go to town. And we can even get close if we have to. We should have no problems picking up win 14 here. But um, I'll admit, you know... It, 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 Theoretically, things could go terribly wrong. I don't know why we're not doing damage when we run into enemies with Taurus. Thought that was like kind of the thing. Maybe it's just a lot less damage than my actual tears and I've become like uh, acclimated to that. All right, that was a good fight. Let's head down here. We've not got really that much HP, but it's difficult to imagine a loss here, especially with four items coming. If they all suck, that changes things slightly, but uh, that one doesn't suck. In fact, Midas Touch with Taurus is pretty good. None of these really suck. Some of them are not amazing, but none of them actually damper our runs. And there's definitely the theoretical potential for items like that, so... I'm stoked that we have Taurus Midas Touch. That could actually give us a huge damage buff. And there's uh, 70 bombs. Fairly good. We do have a luck upgrade or two, so I hope that we're able to... Um... Well, first off, we found the boss fight in like a second flat, so that's solid, but... Beyond that, I hope that we're able to pick up some extra chests here. Alright, now we're at 99 bombs. And I would say it's fair to say that although there's a little bit of a rush job towards the end of this, it looks like we're pretty much going to come out of this, you know, smelling like a rose, so. Come on, give me Taurus. I want to freeze him and see how much damage we're doing at the same time. Another easy run. Sometimes you get a nice, you know, spate of easy runs like this. Sometimes you don't. But this is, uh... Admittedly, it's been a very nice day to record Isaac. Every run today was comfortable. Didn't take me out of my comfort zone. I hope you've enjoyed them. Because tomorrow, it could be a different ballgame. For now, though, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the run. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.